So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Speedbox here, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel before you click onto any of my videos, also comment below in this comment section if you have any opinions of what I'm saying in any of my videos, like always it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub to on my channel. So, Eddie Hearn, the promoter of IBF and WBA heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua is saying that it's very likely that Vladimir Klitschko could activate his rematch clause and decide to take the rematch with Anthony Joshua. And he's saying if that does happen, then he's looking at October 28th and to have the fight at the Principality Stadium in Cardiff in Wales. And that's a very random venue, in my opinion. It's in Wales, so it's very neutral. Obviously, Wales is still the UK, but it's another country. And to quote Eddie Hearn here, he says, um, I believe Klitschko will go ahead with the rematch, so we're looking at dates. The Principality Stadium is not really available in November because of rugby, so 28th of October is the option. Most of December is available, but I don't really want to go that late. Josh has had a bit of a sore shoulder. Klitschko has had a tough fight. His face was bashed up. You have got two more weeks in May, all of June, and after that they will be thinking, right, let's get back into camp. Even if you start back in camp in August, then you have September and October. So end of October can work. I'm thinking, does Eddie Hearn know something we don't because we know that Eddie Hearn has day-to-day -day contact with Burn I hate Guggen Cassius for life Bonte who is the manager of Vladimir Klitschko and at the moment Vladimir Klitschko is on holiday with his family and according to Eddie Hearn Vladimir Klitschko was going to make a decision why he was on holiday with his family but I see the kind of character Vladimir Klitschko that he won't go out with a loss against Anthony Joshua he will try to avenge that loss and it's a massive fight, it will make massive money, both men will make a lot of money again, both men are already minted, especially Vladimir Klitschko, but it's not about the money to Vladimir Klitschko, it's just the reputation really for Vladimir Klitschko, like he said in the first fight he was obsessed, and then after coming so close in the first fight against Anthony Joshua, I could see him definitely thinking, you know what, I can beat this guy, if I can just fix some mistakes, if I get this guy hurt again, this time I should go and finish him like there'll be so many what ifs in Vladimir Klitschko's head right now so I'm thinking Vladimir Klitschko might take this rematch he's got the rematch so why not and if he can find something in the tank for one more great fight with Anthony Joshua then yeah I definitely want to see this fight I want to see this fight more than Anthony Joshua against Kubrat Pulev because if the Klitschko fight doesn't happen then we're going to get Anthony Joshua Kubrat Pulev we're not going to get the Lewis Ortiz fight we're not going to get the Wilder fight this year and we're not going to get the Tyson Fury fight so I want to see Vladimir Klitschko and Anthony Joshua play back I want to see that again like bring it back and let's see it again let's see who can get the victory this time in the second fight and the venue is very neutral I don't know how fans will feel about that travelling to Cardiff but Anthony Joshua is a big commodity he is very popular with fans so I could see fans travelling to Wales to see the fight like it's only four five six hours depending where you live in the uk to get to wales and yeah it could be a very good fight again the first fight was a classic so why not so why wouldn't we want to see that again so yeah comment below in the comment section it's jm it's speedboxing